All right, Libra, this is your part two. Sorry, I had to break it up. Um, okay, your crystal is bloodstone perseverance, right? Bloodstone has always had a powerful connection with maintaining vitality, regulating menstruation, and staunching blood loss, as well as purifying the kidneys. You are a magical being, an amalgam of your individuality, your family, and your, um, oh, amalgam, sorry, amalgam of your <laughs> Individuality, your family, and your environment. Let go of the past. Look closely at your ancestral line. Recognize toxic patterns. Okay. Recognize toxic patterns subconsciously ruining your life. Break away and be strong. You may be unnecessarily aggressive or defensive. Acknowledge mistakes and let inner disharmonies be transmuted. Detoxification and chaos proceed transmutation. Perseverance is needed. Locked doors open. Obstacles are swept away. Okay. I said things were once down and now they are up. Okay. Okay. Obstacles are swept away and romance blossoms. Preserve your good reputation. A, fell, a farewell is called for. Mourn appropriately and let go. You are a spiritual warrior. Be assertive. Nourish your blood and you revitalize your whole body. Timing. Aries, Libra, Pisces. Soul path. Freedom from the past. Chakra. Clarifies and aligns lower chakras. Okay? Most definitely. Let me just give you a little quick Lenormand spread. Let go of the past. Stop stubbornly holding, stubbornly holding on to this heartbreak. In order, you look at this. This is for you. That's what you're bringing in. Release that ex. Mourn, mourn the relationship. Burn pictures if you got to. Cut up pictures if you got to. Um, forgive yourself, forgive them if you have to, okay, and stop worrying because you, what is due to you shall definitely come to you, yep, have faith in yourself, have faith that is a, there's a blessing in disguise in all of this, this, you know, heartbreak of you learning how to self-master yourself, okay, Good news, isn't it? Yep. Prosperity, wealth, something. Oh, yes. The stork and then the baby, the child. Something new, young, innocent. Oh, yeah. Loyalty. But you got to break up the energy. So at the center is the polar bear, which is, um, you know, strong, reliable energy, right? Power and strength, health and protection. Your finance is in my field. Your food is my concern. My bad side comes out when you see negative cards around. There's really no negative cards around at all. Okay, let's start off with the stork. With movements, upgrades, improvements, I bring spring and the change of seasons. Sometimes my symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. Okay? And then right beneath it is the child. So, whew, you may meet your baby father. And then this is the yoni too. So, this could also be pregnancy as well. Because this Kari shell represents the yoni, the, the ultimate gateway. Okay? So, um, yes, an upgrade, you know, change in season, things that could, that's with the wheel of fortune, you, something, or it could represent something, you know, something new, something that's young in its infancy stage, 
okay? And it's, it's loyalty, a friendship. The, you, the friendship is the basis of it, okay? And this is your holistic health, mental, spiritual. This is, this is your protection, your wealth, your, your health. So it, and it's so it's holistic in nature. Finances, everything. Everything is going to be in an upswing. Let me read the anchor. With stability and security, I bring peace of mind. I push you to persevere and help you reach your goal. Okay? Stability and security, basically, with your hard work. Yep. So stability is coming into your life and stable abundance, abundance, wealth is going to be coming in, okay? And then that wealth and abundance is going to be a found, a bring in a firm family foundation, firm family foundation. Okay, stability within your health. Let me read what this key is about. Discovery, solutions. All right, you will find me in synchronicity, signs, and faith. When I land close to you, you, you know that you have the means and the answers to what is troubling you. Look to my right. I point to what is highly important and what needs to be solved. Okay, and then you got this, which is like the whip. The whip. No, it's called the birch and the broom. Be warmed of high temper. I bring conflict and strife. You will find me in competitions because I work with repetition. Arguments and quarrels are my pain. But I am not always a villain. I can be found in the gym or in a lusty bedroom. Okay. So it's not always negative. It's just that that's what that. Remember, I said you were scared of the, maybe the passion with that new relationship is so strong. The magnetism is so strong. You know, you're fearing it. You're afraid of it because that magnetism is so strong. Everything, you know, it's like it looks like it's too good to be true. All right. But. No, we need the passion to be able to bring things into creation, okay? In order to bring these things in from the cosmos, you need that passion and desire, all right? So I'm going to add this on to you, Libra. Enjoy. Email me at empressgem17 at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading or if you are inquiring, go to Empress Elegance on IG and Facebook in reference to the book club. I will be going live Thursday this week. Peace and love.